What's going on everybody? It's Conti here with another video. The linked selection tool in DaVinci Resolve 15. I'm now going to import two MP4 video files using the file, import file and import media options. In my media pool, you can see that I have imported two video files in MP4 format. The first one called example video and the second one called fireworks original. I'm going to drag one of these video files down to the timeline by left clicking, holding the mouse button down and dragging the video file down towards the timeline. Let go of the left mouse button once you can see the blue video segment and the green audio segment on your timeline. By default the linked selection tool should already be highlighted in white in your DaVinci Resolve 15 program. Using the selection mode tool if I left click once anywhere on the video edit, whether it be the blue for the visual segment or the green audio segment, both sections of the same edit will be highlighted with a red outline. And using the selection mode tool, this can be dragged across your timeline. If you drag either the video or the audio segment, both will move simultaneously. What if you only wanted to move either just the visual or audio segment whilst the other part remains in its original position. If you left click on linked selection to remove the white highlight to show that it is now deactivated, using the selection mode tool once more and the same video file still selected, if I left click hold the mouse button down and drag over my timeline, both the video and audio elements still move simultaneously. This is because I still have the same selection as I did before I deactivated the link selection tool and you can tell this with both the video and audio elements both highlighted with a red outline. If I left click once off of this edit and with the link selection tool still deactivated, if I left click once on the video blue segment at the top, I can now drag this video segment across my timeline whilst the relevant audio segment remains in its original position. A red box appears the number indicates how far along the timeline a particular segment is from its other property. In this case here, the video element starts 3.19 seconds after its audio begins. You can tell this because the blue video segment contains a plus and is further to the right on the timeline in comparison to the green audio element. What I can also do with the selection mode tool is go to the audio and drag this where I want to also. Note how the numbers inside the red boxes alter as well. Each segment from an edit can also be moved to different track numbers. My audio segment here, for example, is currently in A1. I could drag this down to A2 and you can still see the time difference between the visual and audio elements of this particular edit. Press Ctrl and Z if you make a mistake at all. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you're a Mac user. If I left click on the linked selection button one more to make it active, remember that clicking on this icon will not affect the selection you previously made. And as you can see here, there is only a red outline around the audio element. So only this will move once you have the selection mode tool selected. In order now to apply the linked effect to both the video and audio elements, you must left click off of this once anywhere on the timeline and then left click back on one of the two elements, the video or audio of the same edit. Left click once, like so, and both elements are now selected. I've now returned the example video file back to its original format and I've now also dragged the Fireworks original video clip in MP4 form down to the timeline alongside my original video. I'm going to use the blade edit mode to make a trim about two thirds of the way across my example video mp4 file by left clicking once like so what if i only wanted to delete either the video or audio elements in the middle here between the start of my example video and the fireworks edit i currently have no edits selected on my timeline i'm now going to left click once on the linked selection tool use Control and shift and l on your keyboard as a shortcut with the linked selection now deactivated, I'm going to left click once on the audio in the middle here, for example, video. Note how a red outline appears around this. Now, if I press delete on my keyboard, you can see now what has happened is that the next edit has pushed 
the earlier video content back towards the left equivalent to the length of the audio segment I just deleted. In order to prevent this from happening, if I press Ctrl and Z once more to undo, I'm going to left click using the selection mode tool once more and this time press backspace and that way we prevent any subsequent video or audio content from copying over any of the earlier content of your video project in DaVinci Resolve. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. To support this channel please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.